I've been asked, why does the scenario that I described in my last video make me angry? Let's see. Something that I do not represent, I'm being told that I represent. That's the main thing, but there's a bunch of other things, too. Everything that I have represented myself as is sort of falling apart. And maybe that's, you know, Maybe that within itself is why people have a hard time disconnecting from a culture that they say they're supposed to represent. You know, maybe, maybe there's something to that. That it's difficult to disconnect from that sort of thing. Most of my life I had called myself a liberal. And now I find that as odd as it seems, I'm finding that liberal thought, progressive thought, ends up being more oppressive, more for censorship than the right. This doesn't mean that I agree with the right. But just a lot of things that I have counted on, represented myself as, are falling apart. I've seen the holes for a long time. But knowing that no matter what I do, no matter what I say, unless I claim that all cultures are wonderful and that white culture is crap because of what happened a hundred and more years ago, that I'm a racist. I'm upset that I'm told that it's outrageous to not feel like one needs to completely connect with a culture that is tied to a race. And then I get told that I have no culture, even if I wanted to. Because the only thing that white culture seems to be allowed to represent itself as is a, a support of slavery. Uh, all the bad things that white culture has supposedly perpetuated. I won't even say supposedly. That, that white culture has, has perpetuated throughout history. That seems to be the only thing that if I wanted to have a culture associated with my race. That's the only thing that I'm allowed to associate it with. I'm upset that I am supposed to be feel ashamed of being white. I'm upset at that. And I know there's a number of other people who have been shoving forth that this is something to be upset at. 
I'm upset that there is a small amount of truth to when these white racists will state that anti-racism is a code word for anti-white. I'm upset that there is truth to that statement. I'm upset at that. Everyone else, any other race than white, is allowed and encouraged, encouraged to take pride in their race. But if you're white, you can't. If you're white, you're not supposed to. Because, well, that means you're you're promoting uh, slavery and you have a negative attitude about other races just for being other races. Yeah, it upsets me. When, when, when the wool has, has been removed from my eyes and I see some things that people have been trying to say for a long time and I just said, oh, that's ridiculous. And then I find out that it's not so ridiculous. But then I'm made to feel like I'm a bad person for looking at it. You know, even Jeff Heisenberg is going, please, please reconsider. Please reconsider what? What am I supposed to reconsider? That I'm a bad person for being white? Because of what happened a hundred and more years ago? Because Elvis borrowed from uh, black artists and then suddenly people see him, his music as some new thing, even though it wasn't new. Because he didn't give enough accreditation to the people that he grabbed influence from. So, you know, cultural appropriation, and, and I should feel badly for that about that? Maybe I should just stop making music, right? Yeah, maybe that's it. Maybe that's it. I should just stop making music because, you know, I might be culturally appropriating something. Even though one of the things I work so hard at when I'm writing music, I mean, it's my, it's my number one thing when I'm writing music. And maybe you don't realize this. It's my number one thing when I am writing music is that I'm not directly copying someone. That I'm not emulating the sound of someone else. That I'm not going with the... with what is popular. That I'm trying to create something that will be catchy and yet different at the same time. I work so hard at that. That side of things, that whole approach, is what I do with my life. And yet, when I mention patterns that I'm seeing around, I'm a racist. And I should feel bad for being a white person. Because look what the history of white people are. And you have the nerve to ask me why that makes me upset? Jeff didn't ask me why I'm upset.
it was someone else who I can't remember who has a picture of Justin Bieber uh, in a uh, 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 oh what is that an Andy Warhol style uh, 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 makeover uh, art makeover on the picture you know um, that's the person who was in, in particular who was really giving me a hard time about why are you so upset well this is why Hopefully this is a good enough explanation. If I'm wrong for telling people that they shouldn't be proud, they shouldn't take pride in their race, if I'm wrong for that, if that makes me a bad person because I'm telling people they shouldn't be take pride in their race and yet I don't have the option to take pride in my race how else am I supposed to feel? what other emotion should I experience other than anger over that. And don't tell me I should become Spock and not feel anything in regards to that. Anyway. <laughs>